Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Nails and Orbit. Today we are doing a super fun one. We are doing The Wild Thorn Parents. Um, have you guys, do you guys know this show? Because I feel like I've been wearing these nails to work, my day job, and I would show people and they're like, oh, Rugrats. No, it's The Wild Thorn Berries, not Rugrats. <laughs> I have to check if they're the same artist, but anyway, Wild Thorn Berries is what we're doing today. We're going to be doing three characters, Donnie, Wow, I should remember their names. Babe, can you look up the characters of Wild Thornberries? It's Donnie, Eliza, and I can't remember the sister's name. Uh, Debbie. Debbie? Okay. So we're doing Donnie, Debbie, and Eliza today. Ooh, I'm so excited. Um, in another video, if you guys really want, I will do the parents and the monkey. I did not add them to this one because I was like, you know what, let's do a little animal print. I wanted to show you guys a little animal print tutorial and I thought that would be fun. So let's get started. Hello everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and start with Donnie. I think I was most excited for Donnie. Usually I don't start with my favorite one because I like to do like the warm up characters, but I was honest, I was excited for all of them, but I think I was most excited for Donnie. And his head kind of starts out like a little bit like, hey Arnold, like a little football head. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're gonna be doing. The base, like we usually do, so I'm just filling that in. And then um, for the base of my nails, I'm using Valentino Perfect Nude for the acrylic. For his skin tone, I'm using D&D &D 291. I wanted a lighter skin tone with a yellow undertone. For Donnie today, so you guys can just watch me fill in the base. I wanted some long nails today. I wanted to do some wild thornberries. I've been waiting to do this at for a really long time, honestly. And I'm just so happy that I finally got it done. And we are just gonna do, like I said, the three the three kids today. Did you guys know Donnie is actually adopted? I did not know that. He's like, they found him in the wild. That's why he's so wild. I like forgot about that detail as a kid. As for the composition of these characters, I wanted to get a lot of the character on my nail um, and then of course keep the characters proportional to each other as best as I could. So for Donnie, it was a real goal of mine to be able to get the shorts in there and the hair of course. I just wanted to make sure I pretty much got, like for the girls, I have like half their body and then Donnie, I have all this body because he's so small. So that's what I was going for. I was like, I don't care how tiny these lines have to be and how tiny these details have to be. I wanna make sure I get the majority of the characters like the uh just the majority of the characters like i wanted to make sure like the older sister was crossing her arms you can see her attitude you know so that's what i had in mind for this set it was very very fun and i just had a great time look at his little ears what the heck <laughs> aren't they little funny shapes
So I have a trick for Donnie's hair. Um, I made, I painted all the base of the hair and then I'm coming out of the hair with just lines with my brush in different angles, different ways. You can see one of the shape looks like it's a little Y, um, but I just do all of that. And then I come in with my daughter tool, which I will do in a second. And that's how I make like it look more like curly or froey, more like that. See, here I go. I took my smallest daughter tool and just started dotting on all those lines. And it's a much easier way than trying to wiggle your brush, like make those little tiny wiggles. This is just so much easier. And you get like the exact effect that you need. A super small daughter tool is honestly your best friend. I got this one at my local nail store, so I can't like like recommend where to buy one but this one is like super duper tiny so that's why i love it and now we're going in with the tongue because he's crazy with his mouth open and running his tongue is all hanging out so we're gonna paint the tongue and then we're almost to the line work mm. Again, we're going in with that daughter tool. We're doing the eyes right now. And here you just want to keep in mind the perspective. So one eye is going to be bigger than the other. And now for the most fun part, the line work. We love it. It just brings the character together. And we're just going to go through the whole thing and finish up Donnie. I also want to explain again how to get these super, super thin lines. You just have your um, paint on your palette and then you're just, you can get the paint, like get the paint on your brush. I'm using um, the Nails by Dev black liner gel, which is amazing. And then you just wipe it on your palette, like you're coating the brush so that all your paint is coated on the brush and not pooling to the bottom of your brush. So just make sure you do that. You can get these tiny little skinny lines. You can see I kind of have it like wiped on my palette and then I'm just going back and grabbing like the absolute littlest amount for the line work.
Okay, so these characters have the tiniest little pupils. And when I need like a nothing, like barely a dot, then I use the tip of my brush instead of my smallest daughter tool because even my smallest daughter tool would not be small enough to do that. So in those cases, I use the very tip of my brush. Now we're going in with the leopard slash cheetah print. Um, this is really easy. I also did this one for my Lisa Frank nails for the rainbow leopard. And you're just going in with your tiniest daughter tool, making some like U's and dots and just kind of like organic shapes in between those and just tiny. I do kind of do like the U's a little bit bigger. And then I just make my tiny organic shapes around those main points. And you get your leopard pretty easy, but we are gonna go over um, again at the end, three different animal prints. So we're going to have giraffe, zebra, and cheetah. So get ready. And now we are on to Eliza. So for Eliza, I'm using, oh my gosh, I can't remember exactly what color. I want to say it's baby doll from the Nails by Dev complexion collection. It's a light nude with a pink undertone. And I chose that just because most of the reference pictures, she had more of a pink undertone than Donnie. So that's why I picked it. And we are just going to go ahead and make her little peanut head shape. Um, I was just trying to leave enough room so that I got her pigtails because they're really just significant in her design. So I wanted to leave enough space on the sides for her pigtails and then so that we could have the majority of her shirt. Her proportions compared to Donnie's, they're not perfect. Like he's a little bit more close up um, and she's a little further back, but that's okay. It's not like a huge difference. So it's totally fine to me. <laughs> Isn't her orange hair so pretty? I love it because we get to do brown, um, orange, and blonde hair today. So that's so fun that there's such different hair colors <laughs> for the siblings.
So there wasn't a lot of pictures of Eliza and I picked a weird pose. I should have just made it up and put her arms down. They didn't need to be going off to the sides, <laughs> but they are. It's fine. But yeah, so kind of a weird pose, but still love Eliza. She is turning out great. So I definitely watched this show growing up, but I had to watch the trailer just to remember, like just to remind, remind myself everything about the show. And I forgot she could speak to animals. That's like the main thing. How did I forget that? But I forgot I was watching the trailer and I was like, oh, that's so fun. That's why they have Darwin the monkey because she can hang out with Darwin. <laughs> I need to go back and watch the show. I watched a little clip. I can't remember what episode it is, but it's like an episode where I want to say there's like a tsunami coming and they have to get to their RV, but their RV doesn't have any power. And then they have to use the electricity to power the RV and then they can open the RV and it can go into a boat and then they're saved. But I was like, this is so fun. It's educational. <laughs> so I need to watch some more episodes. The grandpa always reminded me of my grandpa because he's just really smart and my grandpa is really smart. And, um, they look similar, I guess, <laughs> to me. But yeah, so I thought it was sweet. But anyway, we're almost done with Eliza. We're doing her teeth. And I always like, if I have to do something like, like teeth, for example, the daughter tool is always good as well. So I just dot, 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 connect them all. And then here I would square them out afterwards. So that's what we, that's what I'm doing. And now the line work begins. Eliza's line work was so much fun. Her hair is just so cute. I love the braids. Do you guys ever watch the show as told by Ginger? Because that's what she kind of reminds me of too, because I think Ginger had braces as well. And it just, they just could look kind of similar. So I wonder if that's all the same artist. I need to look that up. I know I said that in the beginning, but I need to look it up. <laughs> okay, so I looked it up. It looks like everyone just has like crossover of people who were on the show. I couldn't find the exact like artist name that did everything, but I know this, well, as told by Ginger and Wild Thornberries had the same director and then Rugrats and Wild Thornberries, but Thornberries had like lots of crossover with people who worked on the show. So that makes sense. So 
So here we go. It's circle time. Circles are definitely the hardest, but you just, I just do my circles like piece by piece. I just try my best and connect them as I go. I don't try to do like huge chunks of the circle at once. You're good. Look at myself. I'm stabbing my hand. Do you guys ever do that when you paint your nails, when you have long nails? Like you can't even feel it because you're so focused on drawing and then I'm just like stabbing my hand <laughs> and getting all those marks. But see, does practice makes perfect or practice makes progress with the circles. So don't worry about it. And just try your best. She has her eyes are a little bit challenging because we have to again make even tinier circles to outline inside the glasses. So we'll get to that. See, here's the tiny circles. They're a little bit challenging. So I definitely have to just go back in, see, fix it up. See, easy peasy. Don't even worry about it. And this is Eliza all done. Woo! another one down and now we are going to do Debbie so Debbie funny story with her her design I think inspired like I wish I had pictures of it but my sister when she first started drawing when we were younger she would draw all her girl characters with their hair like cutting off one of their eyes and that's exactly what Debbie looks like so I'm like that had to have been our inspiration when it came to drawing because she always drew them like that with just one eye fully covered and that had to be her. So, yeah. So when I first actually drew her, I drew her head way too big. So I had to erase it um, and start over. So if you have to do that, do not even worry about it. But that's why I like to just get everything placed with the base color, like your first color. Make sure your portions are relatively the way that you want and then cure because it's much easier to just decide in that moment instead of like because I was like mm, it looks kind of too big and then you just wipe it off instead of having to cure and then e-file it off like that's that's just dramatic we all know that it's not fun um and now we're doing that I'm so excited because I wanted to make sure that you could see all her attitude her long hair um her eyes are much different than theirs um I think just because she's a teen but I'm so excited Okay, so you see how I did the base of her hair without the dots? This is how we're gonna do the bumpy, like get that wavy texture, just like we do like SpongeBob, kind of how we did Donnie's hair. Like well, that's how we're gonna do it. You just do the whole base of the hair, make it easier for you. And then we come back in with our daughter tool to make the little wiggles. And that is just my favorite way. I do this a lot for anything that has curvy edges like this. And it is just the easiest way to do 
everything like that in my opinion and then I only did half the hair and then I went into the shirt it's just because I didn't want to have to paint over all that yellow so you kind of just have to like judge it how you can um, when you want to do like you can paint over the yellow I just didn't want to do that so I just did half the hair did the shirt then I'll go back and do the hair around the shirt it's just back and forth kind of thing for that it's up to you your own judgment on that one Look at her little noodle arms. Noodle arms and attitude for Debbie. I find the placement of their mouths to be so interesting. That they're just like at the bottom of the face like that like you don't even see the chin like it just it's so cool because it works you know what i mean but it's just so interesting like when you analyze it that the lips are just you know like no chin and <laughs> so i think that's interesting and now we're starting debbie's line work lots of wiggly lines
So this is just me nitpicking, but I made her um, eye too much at an angle. And I think, I don't think it messed with her likelihood that much, but I just noticed that um, that was one of the things I didn't follow quite to the T. It's just a little bit too much at an angle, but I think she still looks like her. It's just me nitpicking, like I said. And now Debbie is all done. We have all three siblings done. And now we're gonna jump right into our animal print. I absolutely loved these nails. Usually I have just, I you guys know I put mostly characters on my nails so I don't really have like too much pattern on the other nails. So it was really fun to do um, these animal prints. And I feel like this could be really helpful. So basically I just wanted to do kind of like these little blobs in the background. Um, and then put the animal print on top of it just so it's kind of like little blobby abstract ish designs and then the animal print like i said right on top so we're going to start with the white and then that's of course going to be for the zebra here i'm going in with a warm like kind of a yellowy brown for the corner and that one's going to be for the cheetah slash leopard i looked up both of them and when you look up cheetah pattern and leopard leopard pattern separately they look like the same thing so we're just going to say cheetah from here on out all right so i'm filling in that blob and then the next blob come on so the next blob of course i didn't film it and i'm just doing yellow for behind the giraffe for the zebra i'm basically making this kind of triangle like wobbly triangle shape and I'm just going to go around that with more organic pointy lines for the zebra. And I just looked up just a zebra pattern and I just saw a lot of triangles, a lot of like just going to kind of one point. So that's really what I went for. And I feel like it came out so cute and I didn't want to stay inside the blob. That was my thing. I kind of just wanted to go outside the blob. The blob is just to give that just the background color of the print. And then we're just doing the pattern on top. But I love the zebra. Honestly, I would do these um, animal print nails again. They were so fun. And here we are doing the cheetah again. We're just taking our small daughter tool. We're making some U's and some C's and just some little curves. I'm making like the bigger ones first. And then I kind of go around those, make the smaller ones, make their dots, little tiny U's. Like it's just a really organic thing. Some of them I try to make like they're going together, like this, like the two curves go together so that there's a little space in the inside where we're going to put a little bit of a darker brown. And that just gives a little bit more dimension to it. And you'll see me do that in the next step soon. See what I mean? I love it. It just adds a little something, a little bit more like dimension to this pattern. It's really subtle, but I feel like it makes a difference. And here is the giraffe pattern we're going with. So when I looked this one up, it was more of like diamonds, squares, kind of organic shapes that kind of like fit together a little bit like um, puzzle pieces ish, but not perfect, you know? So that's how we're doing that. I was doing my th thumb sim simultaneously. You can see it right there, <laughs> but um. Yeah, that's how you go in with the giraffe. 
that one's really simple too. I think that it's just good to have these three nice little variety right on your finger and then we're all done. So those are so simple, so easy. And I just had so much fun. And here's the reveal. I'm still wearing these. I never want to take them off. I love them so much. But here they are. Let me know if you guys like them. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and let me and tag me on Instagram if you guys try these. I want to see your renditions of these nails. All right. Bye, guys.